through Turner's history, we've grown to be the largest contractor in the United States. We've built a lot of the tallest buildings in the world. That's something we're very proud of. Turner's founded on teamwork, integrity, and commitment. And I think you really see that in the individuals that we work with. That's why I like coming to work every day. That's why I chose to work at Turner 10 years ago. And I think our clients see that from us, which is why we've got a lot of repeat business and a lot of repeat customers. We don't want surprises on a construction project. If you have a surprise, normally it means a schedule delay and a cost delay. So we're trying to build digitally first, and we're really trying to look for issues as part of our process before we get out into the field, and it costs a lot more money and, and schedule delays and everything like that. BIM, Building Information Modeling, is building 3D models to help facilitate whether it be estimating, constructability, actual construction at the job site, or facilities management models for an owner. A big part of building information modeling is the collaboration that occurs within the team. This collaboration is allowed to occur because of smart technologies and because of the software. When people walk into the iRoom, they kind of know that they're coming to a collaboration session. Whether that's collaborating in the same room by standing up in front of the room and marking up a smart board, marking up our BIM model um, from the smart board, or it's uh, collaborating with someone 3,000 miles away across the country. You go into the BIM room to coordinate, to hold meetings, to collaborate with folks online via the Bridget server, and really just have a collaborative way of interacting with the project team. Turner is building a consolidated rental car facility for SeaTac Airport. The ceiling of the rental car facility, where the desks are, is shaped like a boat. And for the subcontractors to visualize where their work was going to fit in, there's skylights up in the ceiling, there is the fire protection lines, there's duct work, electrical, as well as some seismic restraints. People were having a hard time visualizing whether or not their work would actually fit into the ceiling. We had an issue with the metal framing and the diagonal braces, and then the limitation we had left with the uh, fire protection. We got down so tight with the smart boards that we actually figured out how to run the uh, fire protection in the studs themselves. It's up 30 feet in the air. Once you're up there, taking things apart is not easy, and you more than likely would change it, you'd have to go do it again and again. You could see it a lot easier on the 3D than you could after the fact. The rental car facility happened at the same time as there was a you know, downturn in the economy and that project actually was at risk of being shut down completely. So for us to do some value engineering on the job, to give them the same kind of product at a savings was a huge issue. The smart solutions have really, I'd say, become just an integrated part of our process. We did a study over a number of our projects using BIM and not using BIM, using technology and not using technology, and the mechanical trade alone just from coordination and clash detection, they've become over 100% more productive. We really brace the innovation and the technology as a company, and bringing that to our buildings just helps us build better buildings, because that's what we like to do.